Hi everybody, this is Guru Fan Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School, and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. FMAschool.com Hey everybody, this is Guru Friends Saran from Philippine Martial Arts School. Today is another episode of Bayani Talk. And I, today I'd like to talk about trying to please everybody. So, you know, growing up, I've always thought that, um, that it's my job to, to make people happy with me and to please everybody. And, you know, because you're trying to get everybody's approval. And you're trying to get everybody to, to like what you do. I mean... And this is all, you know, in some case, in some in some instances, because you're you're just you're looking for some sort of recognition that you're of your existence. Uh, I know, growing up, I was bullied uh, my first year living here in the United States. I moved here when I was nine years old, so I was in third grade. And when I first moved here, I, I got beaten up every day. And so, now, the only way for me to to find a way to survive was to was to make people laugh and make people happy. And from then on, I just, I got stopped being, I got, you know, the people that beat me up became my good friends. And as a result of that, you know, I've always kind of been this, this jokester, uh, people trying to make people laugh and then just trying to, to please everybody. Then of, of course, uh, growing up Filipino, uh, it's very difficult to not try to please uh, the, your elders around you. It is, it, you know, we're, we're a people of hospitality, we're here, we're a people of, of trying to accommodate people, trying to bend over backwards to make people more comfortable around you. So that's just, it's, it's also kind of innate in my culture. The one place where it wasn't really part of something I was supposed to do is from my parents, uh, especially my mother. My mother, um, you know, she, she had to raise my, my older sister as a single parent and she had been, you know, this is back in the, back in the day, like late 60s, uh, early 70s. Where she was still she was a single parent and she had to raise my sister all by herself and you know can you imagine even in today's world we're still kind of a male dominated society but how much more of that's during in the Philippines and during back in the day so you know she really had to be a tenacious type of person and I've always been very proud how how strong willed and strong per person my mother is and it just always makes me laugh you know on the type of person that she is anyway so. Um, so it was always my mother that said, you don't have to try to please everybody. So eventually, as you know, I became a performer. I became uh, a, an actor, a full-time actor for a while. And, you know, it was, again, trying to please everybody, trying to make everybody happy, trying to fit in everybody's mold. And, you know, I just wasn't doing it. So until finally I started, um, you know, when I started, I've, I've been teaching for, for a little, almost 11 years now. And I love it. I, I love teaching. And even when I started teaching, I'm like, okay, I gotta, I'm trying to grow my business. I'm trying to get people to, to sign up. I'm trying to get people to be happy with the program. I'm trying to get people's appoint, uh, you know, you know, if they want to learn something specific, then that's what I'll teach them. But in the past few years, I realized, heck no, man, I'm not doing that. Why? Because it's like, you know, it's, it, okay, just, let's just use it in the context of being a teacher, uh, a Filipino martial arts teacher. As a Filipino martial arts teacher, I get to dictate what I teach, you know? It's just, it's so crazy, like when people are now trying to tell me, I wanna just learn this. This ain't FMA a la carte or FMA buffet, you just get to eat what you want. You either give you the, you, you eat the food that I put in front of you, or you, you learn the stuff that I, I'm, I'm planning to teach you. It's not up to the student to, to determine what's gonna be taught and what's not gonna be taught. And you know what, I, for the longest time, I, I used to feel that that way, that that's what I had to do. Then I realized, I'm like, no, I'm the guru, I'm the instructor, and, and you know, you're going to learn what I want you to learn. Um, I'm not trying to, I, I don't need to prove anything to anybody else. Um, just a few months ago, just a few months ago, I had a student, um, a, a, a student sibling that was thinking about joining the, the program, and you know, this person was more than welcome to join the program. But then this person told me, but there's a certain things that I, I don't, you know, there's certain things that you kind of need to work on, sir. No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm far from perfect. But what I am saying is, this is my school. I don't need to change for you. I don't need to accommodate for you. I don't need to change my personality for you. 
You're, you're the one that wants to come to a world championship school? And you want to tell me how to, to run my school? Heck no. You want to run a school the way you want to run a school? Then start your own school. But if you want to learn from somebody who has developed champions, have developed great fighters, then you're going to do it my way or the highway. If there's one thing that I am learning now, is that the, the, the guaranteed way to fail is to try, to try to please everyone. And in the process of that, I just end up um, hating myself. Well, let me just say this. I'm, that's not what I'm about. That's, what, I'm, that's not what I'm about anymore, at least. What I'm about is I'm going to give you the best that I have, the best, the best way I know how, and you're going to learn the best Filipino martial arts that I can give you. <coughs> and if you don't like it, I'm sorry. There's other schools out there. Go try them. But you'll be hard-pressed to find a world championship school somewhere else in Riverside County, at least. Maybe there is, and there is great, but I don't think so. So, um, so as far as I'm concerned, the only way for me to fail now is to try to please everybody. So what I'm going to do now is I, I'm still going to keep my students, you know, um, well-being in, in mind. I'm going to make sure that they're at least, you know, satisfied with what they're learning. And if they're not, then of course they have more than welcome to to. Um, they're more than welcome to uh, to get out, you know, to leave. That's fine. But the only way now that I'm going to run this school is the way I see fit. And I'm not going to try to, to circum... I'm not going to try to obviously... I'm not try to please anyone, any, anybody, everybody at the same time. Because it's just a, a, a failing battle. So, if you're looking for a school whose teacher knows what he wants to teach, then come join us at www.fmaschool.com. I don't know. Do you guys agree? Do you think that it's it's... It's the only serious way, the only real way to fail is to try to please everybody. If so, comment down below. Until then, my name is Guru Francis Ron from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.